can draw and then as you go along now the creativity comes and then you can do it's probably what i'm doing now so this um, flower paste how long will it take to dry uh, on a fairly sunny day i should say that uh, in about three to four hours a piece is, is dry so it's sun dried yes. you put it in, out in the sun, in the sun to dry, to dry okay Again, practice makes perfect. So, <laughs> if you do this more than once, <laughs> yes. I'm thinking it should I, Yeah, I see now. Yeah. You. Yeah. So, as you can see from here, mm -hmm. uh, when I finish, of course, I'm still having the way to go. Um, it's going to be put in the sun to dry. Okay. Once this is dry, it will look like what you see over here, which is uh, a piece that has the flower now dry and it lays quite flat onto the fabric and we are now applying the fabric paint or painting it now doing the dyeing process okay yes. so uh, this paint you are using here what kind of paint is it the paint is known as water-based fabric paint and okay. we do mix it here okay so yeah from the base until we put the pigments all that is done as to what is required with our users at the end of the day yeah you are like the people who are going to make use of the tablecloth this one is actually in order the person wants only these colors as you see and to a certain size okay yes so this is going to be a tablecloth this is going to be an eight seater tablecloth okay yes mm. So after yes. this, it will be laid in the sun to dry, uh, which will be followed by the curing process. Okay. Hmm. By curing, there are two ways of doing it. One can use a handheld iron or an uh, oven. Like this. So we're going to bake that painted piece in here before... Uh, taking off the flour by washing mm -hmm. and once it's thoroughly rinsed then it will be sewn into a finished product using any of the sewing machines that you see okay so and then from baking it dries up and then cleaned and then it goes on to the sewing, the sewing machine, machine.